Hello, hi. So today I'm going to talk about uh, the salaries offered to quants in India. But before I start, let me uh, give you a disclaimer that this is not based on any survey, uh, but it is based on my own knowledge. Okay, um, based on what I have learned from my friends uh, who are working in this field in India. Uh, because I have left India, I am uh, in Europe, I moved to Europe seven years back. Um, so I'm sure things have changed over the seven years. But based on my own um, conversation with my friends and acquaintances who are uh, working in this field uh, in India, uh, I'm going to talk about the numbers, but there could be some variations, right? There could be exceptions to the rule. Um, there may be uh, cases where you know people are making insane amount of money. Uh, I've heard about that, but that's not a norm, right? That's uh, more of an exception, not a rule. But I, I'll talk about more of the average salaries offered. Okay, so I can start with okay the salaries offered to freshers, right? Someone with uh, zero to two years of experience. Right? I count him or her as a fresher. Right. So in banks, you can expect anywhere between 8 to 25 lakhs or 30 lakhs. Right. Some banks pay a lot more to freshers compared to the others. For example, if we're going to work with uh, Goldman Sachs or Morgan Stanley, the investment banks, right, you will be making a lot more compared to, say, you will be working with a retail bank. Right. In that case, you will be making a lot less. Right. You could be making, if you're working or work with the retail bank, you'll be making somewhere around 8 to 15 lakhs as, as a fresher. Whereas if you work with investment banks, uh, you can expect anywhere between 20 to 30 or 35 lakhs as a fresher. Right. Uh, but if you work for, with uh, consulting firms as a fresher, your salary will be slightly lower to that uh, of the banks. Right. Consultative firms, they don't pay well to freshers or the junior people. Right? You can expect salary anywhere between 18 to 15 lakhs in that range. That, that's my knowledge. There may be some exceptions though. Uh, if you have exceptional skills, it's a different thing. But most people I know, they started with big four consulting firms with a salary range between 8 to 15 lakhs. Right? By the way, I'm talking about only about the fixed salary. I'm not talking about the bonus and other things. Okay, um, that obviously will be on top of that, but I'm not taking that into account. All right, so that's about the freshers. Then uh, what about the trading firms? Right? The trading firms that pay a hell lot of money to freshers. But also let me tell you that, that the jobs in trading firms um, are not very secured. Right, you could lose jobs there um, anytime. So therefore, you know, the risk level is very high. So you can expect higher return there. Uh, however, uh, you know, there are risks involved, right, to, to note, uh, because, you know, jobs are not very stable there. So as a fresher, you can expect anywhere between 30 to 1 CR uh, with the quant trading firms. I've heard people making even more than that, but I'm not 100% sure if that's the best salary. Maybe that's, you know, everything combined, you know, the variable components and everything. But um, but you can expect, you know, anywhere between 30 lakhs to one share. I think most of them hire from IITs, but there are also um, cases where, you know, non IIT graduates, the freshers I'm talking about, have made to uh, have, have got uh, jobs in these places also. If you have a PhD in physics, maths also in, yeah, even in non IIT, uh, uh, university, uh, you, you still can get these jobs, by the way. Uh, and, and for experienced people, it, it's open, actually. If you have experience in, in trading, quant trading, I think regardless of where you've got uh, your degree from, you'll still be able to, uh, you know, get jobs in these places. All right, so that's uh, about freshers. Uh, let me talk about more experienced people, right? For more experienced people, you know, the salary levels uh, for banks and consulting firms will substantially increase. Whereas the salary level for uh, trading firms may not increase that much. There will be some increase, but not as much as what you expect in terms of percentage uh, for banks and consulting firms.
right so for banks uh, in banks you can expect anywhere between 15 to 50 lakhs if you are uh, experienced you have experience between 3 to 10 years of experience right you are um, you are experienced enough but not too experienced to become a senior manager or something right you are in that league then you can expect anywhere between 15 to 50 uh, 50 lakhs you still an individual contributor uh, you are not a manager uh, or maybe in some cases you are a lead uh, of a few members but um, yeah you are still contributing a lot you are very hands-on still and you are a subject matter expert and that case you can expect anywhere between 15 to 50 lakhs uh, and in consulting firms uh, you can expect anywhere between 15 to 35 lakhs in some cases 40 lakhs it depends a lot on also on the skills which areas you're working uh, working in i'm going to talk about that also that how your skill sets will also decide how much you're making um and then i'm going to talk about okay how can how much you can expect as an experienced quant trader uh, as i said the best salary doesn't that go up that uh, much i have heard about it right uh, i haven't worked uh, uh, in india in this area so i do not know much but uh, there you can expect anywhere between 50 to uh, 50 lakhs to 1.5 cr uh, in that range and then i'm going to talk about the highly experienced people or high experienced people people having experience between 8 years to 20 years okay in that range uh, in banks you could expect to make anywhere between 40 lakhs to 1 cr which is quite good salary that's base salary by the way you could also get bonus and incentives on top of that and uh, in consulting firms uh, you could you could make anywhere between 40 to 1 cr again so at that senior level i think um, you make exactly the same salary uh, as the banks if you work in consulting firms you could also make more actually if you become a partner or something you could make more than one share also right uh, but there are not many people who go on to that level so i'm talking about the average uh, it will be somewhere between 50 to 1 share in that in that range um and in the trading in the trading uh, quant trading yeah, right after 10 15 years um yeah i don't think the salaries level increase that much i think people make pretty much the same salary what a five year experience guy makes right it's not a career which you can uh, be in for uh, more than 10 years or 15 20 years there are few but i'm not sure if that is also case the case in india uh, because uh, what i've heard is that a lot of people working in quant trading firms in india they actually do a lot of implementation it related work not actual trading some do but not everyone uh, but in in london and other places you can you can have very long career in quant trading that's not an issue <coughs> right then um, i have uh, omitted uh, fintech say how much they pay uh, but fintechs are very new right in india again jobs are not that stable uh, compared to consulting firms or uh, or big banks in fact techs you can make um, yeah starting salary could be anywhere between 10 to 30 lakhs so very similar to the salaries offered in consulting firms and in the you know banks uh, but you could also get uh, equities right uh, you could get stock options right so that that is uh, a big incentive actually for working in a very successful fintech right um but with experience i know i, I have a friend actually working in fintech uh, is making about 50 to 70 in that range is fixed salary uh he's having experience of about 10 years all right and then salaries could differ based on uh, your skill skill level actually right what kind of work actually you're doing right if you're a quant trader uh, you probably will be making the most or a quant researcher by the way it's not just about trading a lot of people confuse with that that it's it is just about trading now it's also about doing research right which is not about you know high frequency trading it's about less romantic compared to quant trading but you do a lot of uh, quantitative uh, analysis for investment there also you make quite good money so that's probably the highest uh, skill level in the skill matrix for quants and then that will followed by uh, you know 
pricing of uh, complex derivative instruments you know um they you know the credit default swaps or uh, future and options right uh, the derivative products right if you know how to price uh, these instruments uh, how to model uh, these instrument from a pricing point of view or you know how to validate the models used there um yeah you will be in demand and you will be making lot good money actually so that comes second in my view and then comes the market risk side if you are more of a market risk quant um very similar to the credit uh, by the way the the pricing uh, quants uh, they can be put in the same bucket uh, but there are there is a huge overlap there uh, but as a market risk quant also you will be making quite good money and then after that comes the credit risk part uh, people working in credit risk uh, they uh, pro- yeah in most cases they won't make as much as the market risk or the pricing quants make especially at the lower level like right? at the junior uh, or mid senior level but after a while you know after you become a manager or senior manager i think the salaries level up a lot then it doesn't differ at all so then comes the credit risk stress testing you know those those things and then would come the more it implementation part of modeling which is about model implementation you know providing data to models you know so that level of skills um it also depends on um, yeah your location like where you are going to work if you are working in mumbai i think you will be making more if you are working in bangalore or gurgaon calcutta chennai you will be making relatively less compared to those who work in mumbai but that's also true for other jobs right? not just with the uh, quant jobs right so yeah and other than that uh, sometimes especially for the futures sorry especially for the freshers um salary could differ based on your uh, educational qualification like where you have done your bachelor or masters degree from uh but that's only for freshers let me tell you don't worry about it you know you will yeah you will come across many people from iits and iims making more than you when you start but after a few years yeah it levels up and in fact in many cases you will see non iit graduates making more than the iit the ones from iit right so it's just about the you know for the first few years where you will see that uh, discrimination a bit um does qualification matters yes it does uh, sometimes you know people having phd's also could be making more money okay because they have extra qualification but again that's only for the freshers you know the people with 0 to 3 years of experience range more than that after that you know uh, things uh, things change a lot you know uh if you have questions uh, do not hesitate to contact me and uh, as i have announced on this channel couple of times already that uh, if you want to uh, learn quantitative finance i am starting a course uh, i am in the process of making that if you are uh, interested to uh, hear about it please let me know please uh, you know fill up the form in the description section um give your email id and when the course is ready i will i will let you know i will send you an email and thanks for watching do subscribe and if you have questions always welcome to contact